You know, a commission's a commission. Uh, at the end of the day, somebody gave me money to do his commission. But I'm gonna keep it real with you. This fucking sucked. <laughs> Welcome to your Run and Does Music, where today we have another commission via my friend Eduardo, Avenging Marlin 4. You can find him here at this here Twitch channel. Go show him some love. Hopefully, I make it so it's not horribly cropped this time. Probably not, because I'm so bad at that. So Eduardo gave me about five or six album commissions to do, those being, um, I'm trying to remember all of them together. This album, Nickelback, Hence I Do, to Five Finger Death Punch, Drake... And Thy Art is Murder? Holy fuck. <laughs> That's in addition to all the other commissions he's given me. Uh, if you want me to do an album review, I do them for as low as a dollar. Nine times out of ten. You want me to review an album, it's a fucking dollar. Connect with me on Twitter or Instagram or some shit. It's usually going to be the same name as just, you know, down there, just Ray Ronu. Uh, hit me up. We can work something out. But this... Review today is not one that I'm super happy about doing. It is Tom McDonald, Renegade. All you need to know about Tom McDonald is that he is, and I'm going to get into this in the course of this review, the epitome of, well, I'm not trying to take a side. I'm not trying to start a fight. I hate everyone. I dare behavior. He's essentially everything that people think Ronnie Radke is. Not to say Ronnie Radke is the same. He's a dickhead, but he's at least more musical talented than this fuckhead here. Um... It just let's just get into the review. This is also a review that, like with my Drake for all the dogs review, I'm doing it track by track. And if you're thinking to yourself, if he's doing this track by track, why is the video so short? Stay tuned. <laughs> so let's just get let's just let's get into this here this here review, shall we? First track, The Machine. This seems to be the kickoff to uh, what I feel is going to be a lot of this album. That's just a lot of big words, and Tom trying to sound like he's saying the most insane, groundbreaking things when it's either again. Big word baiting or saying something agreeable, saying some agreeable things, excuse me, to try and pull you into this middle of the road, I'm not on this side or that side of rapping, which boils down to he himself trying to trigger the listener, despite him going out of his way numerous times to say, whoa, I don't care what you think, I'm just being a free thinker. I'm taking no sides, but I'm taking both sides. You can argue one way or another, and I'm not attempting to take any sort of side myself here, except I'm also, I read that from the script, let me retract that. I have sides on matters here, but I'm conscious of it as opposed to how Tom McDonald is overly ignorant and I don't know if this is the right term, unconscious of what he's actually accomplishing. Or maybe he's conscious of it and he's too fucking silly goose to not realize it. I'm just looking at the music in a critical way, but the music itself has political roots despite the opening lyric of, you know, just not, whatever. So that discussion comes into play no matter what. There will be political points being made throughout this review relating to the music because it is inherently political music is what I'm trying to say here. The bottom line is that, this, that Jesus, the bottom line is that this song ends up saying a whole lot about nothing using modern issues and conversation points as attempts to sound important and it just comes off hollow. Then we have Underdogs. Thankfully there's an immediate change from the non-political political music. This is just a simple song talking about being, well, you know, underdogs. Doing what you want in the face of typical adversities is an agreeable topic and something everyone can relate to, fuck even me, and Tom does an okay job of linking the idea together throughout the song with some neat lines such as had a backwards hat, mad magazine crammed in our backpack, smoke weed 14 playing Pac-Man, now we actually Batman. But outside of just being an alright laid back song about not being a cool kid and being yourself as an underdog, there's not much meat to this part of the sandwich. It's a definite improvement from the first track but we're not getting into great territory quite yet. Next is Still Me. It admittedly takes some effort to come off as humble yet full of yourself at the same time. But this track manages the task as Tom raps about being to, being able to afford all this nice stuff. Fancy cars, super expensive clothes, but he'd rather slum it out in sweats and a t-shirt. See, this type of song would have been great in like the early 2010s, or even mid-2010s, when not a lot of rappers had this attitude, but this is just this, the same type of attitude that every rapper has nowadays. Like, there are rappers that are still coming out in Lamborghinis clad head-to-toe and just, like, Gucci pussy money clothes or whatever the fuck, but it's just, it's not as unique of a subject in a song anymore to be like, I'm just wearing a t-shirt and jeans. This song just shows that Tom still acts like a lot of other rappers in terms of presentation. He goes out of his way to say, yeah, I'm still an asshole, I'm grimy, but I'm normal just like you. But this is a story that's been told 20,000 times by other rappers, 
and is extremely overdone by the year 2022 when this came out. It's nothing special, but it's gotten somewhat catchy course. Here we go into Hated, and there is so little to say about hate, Hatred, excuse me, that it's fucking hilarious. It's just rehashing hinted at aspects already visited on this album with cookie cutter lyrics that boil down to, hey, hate me if you want, I don't care. I don't care so much that here's a whole song about me not caring. We are, we are already underdogs, had underdogs, excuse me, I'm just getting fired up about this and skipping over lines in my little script I'm reading from here, which handled the do your own thing vibe good enough, so why do it again here on this mid-ass track? <sighs> Next we have Riot, I swear if I had a dollar for every time he talks about middle finger flipping, I wouldn't need to do an album commission like this for money. Here's another lame-ass song that could be so much better if he didn't shoot for low-hanging lyrical fruit. Independent legend, unheard of at my age. Again, here he is talking and rapping about stuff that a decade earlier would have been impressive, but nowadays it's, it's just like, there's, there's no, there's no, there's nothing behind it. There's almost no point to rapping about it. He's constantly just saying things to seem important, saying things that seem to, to, uh, to seem so over important, it's nothing fruitful. He constantly tries to act like what he does is unique. When his music not only caters to the lowest common denominator, edgy high school kids who are discovering rap for the first time, but overall his per he acts like his personality, his rapping, his everything is the most unique thing possible. When his rapping sounds like something you'd hear in a car commercial if they decided to go for the somewhat edgy rap beat, and he looks like a copy-paste Roblox NPC character. It's just nauseating. Next is The End of the World. At first I was kind of surprised and welcoming to a diet country song on the album, ho hoping that it was going to be something a little different, but no, it's just virtue signaling the song to a T. Any song that tries to put a positive spin on cryptocurrency already has a raised eyebrow from me, but this is just Tom whining about the admittedly shitty state of the world and saying, I don't know man, the Bible may have had it right, isn't our situation so crazy? I can't believe phones exist. We're looking at our phones, there's bombs dropping, wow the world is so fucked. And I will bring up something uh, briefly here, I can't speak at all, it's, my, it's like 1am. Um, Recently, I reviewed Grandson. Grandson talked about some similar subjects, such as songs, the song Drones, specifically, which talks about something very reminiscent to the, you know, bombs dropping around our phone thing. Grandson actually tries to put some effort into that, doesn't just rely on, like, whoa, it's so crazy. Overall, this is just Tom saying the world is fucked, which, once again, this is nothing new being said. It's just him grabbing desperately at somewhat valid topics and trying to make a full song from it. Like he plugged the words into Chad GPT and hoped for the best. Here we go with Fighter. I'll give him slight props. This is the first song that doesn't have any immediate bad qualities like virtue signaling, low hanging fruit, or trying to cause drama and issues by mentioning contentious topics. It's just a dude rapping about fighting against demons. It may be boring, imagine the dragon's levels of basic, but that's the only real offense here. I hate being negative for the sake of it, but this type of song just needs to do a lot more to stand out. But it does remain pretty plain all throughout it, therefore being unoffensive and not trying to do any of the dumb stuff he's done thus far in the album. So, you know, despite not being too special, it is a better song by comparison. Lucky You is next, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but honestly, this is a decent song. Uh, doing a better job than Fighter of taking a basic type of story and adding actual flavor to it outside of base elements. There's still a distinct lack of personal pieces in it, like other rappers in a similar vein, like Packy, Chris Webby, or Logic. But Tom's showing on this song that he can actually write decent enough tracks when he attempts to do so. Still not great by any, uh, any form. But if I had to pick a song of his to listen to, it'd probably be this one. Vulnerability is always a solid contender for topics to be able to allow your emotions and create some solid art form. So it's a, it's an unwilling thumbs up. Next is the system, and as soon as I give him some props, he immediately goes back to being ignorant, wannabe, woke, but not woke, white boy rapper number 1005. This is just another song talking about when the world is bad and there are things I don't like when. It's the slight jabs at non-cisgender identities, it's the seemingly double-edged siding with women, with big air quotes, for a couple bars that you go back to and think, wait, I don't think he actually cares. Tom is a master at making you think he gives a fuck when in reality he is so stuck in his own head of his own idea of, if I say both sides are bad and everything sucks, then I'm right. It's so goddamn boring and taste tasteless. Yes, we get it. Holy fuck, the world is one constant course of bullshit until we die but you're beating the dead horse that we're all already having to stare at. Still the one is here. I'm not even going to try and talk critically about this. Stop trying to act like you're the god of independent rap and saying you have all these number one songs, all this glory, nobody does it like you. When your highest charting sing singles were brainwashed at number 11 on the US rock charts, not bad but not number one, and then The Brave at number one. 
you've had one findable number one hit. You're not the multi-award winning, multi-charting megastar you think you are. You might have number one on a specific radio station. You might have number one in like some random thing, but you're trying, you're using that and saying it in a general sense to make it sound like you're on par with the best rappers in the game. You are not. And I will fully admit, I make music, I don't chart number one on anything. I don't chart at all. I'm a bad musician myself. But I realize it and I don't go saying, yeah man, I sold one record at 3.34 p.m. on a Friday afternoon in April. I charted number one for that minute. I don't do that. With this review style, I'd be going through the entire rest of the album, but honestly, I'm stopping right here. I've listened to the album and all I've been able to take away from it is that there is nothing of substance here. There is barely anything listenable on this album if you aren't content with genuinely awful rap with little to no effort put into it besides bottom of the barrel world bad sentiment. Tom, no matter how much he tries to say he is, and is someone who very much has a position in the political and social atmospheres. You can't keep saying, oh, I don't care, and then immediately show signs and opinions that line you right up with one side of things as opposed to the other. That's just not how it works. And again, I want to make a point here. I'm not trying to bring in politics or political mentions here just for the sake of it. His music is inherently political with what he chooses to sing about, what he raps about, and what he, whether he believes that he's on a side or not, is on a side about. Putting the personal frustration aside, there is genuinely nothing musically interesting on this album outside of quick moments, and it is a bloated, overbaked, half-baked, not-baked, forgettable album that has bass-level rap listeners barely stomaching it. I've shown, I, I've shown this to a couple friends who are like, yeah, I, I listen to like Eminem every now and then, or I listen to Kendrick or J. Cole. I was like, hey, here, try listening to this. Tell me how far you can get. Nobody could finish the album because they all got bored, or, or they all realized, or the rest realized, excuse me, that it was just genuinely heinous in terms of listenability. This is, without a doubt, the worst album I've ever reviewed, and the score is going to match that. Renegade by Tom McDonald gets a 2 out of 10. And that's a review. Don't listen to this album. Save, your, save yourself the drudge that would be listening to this album. If you want an actually good album, I implore you to look up literally anything else. But even if you're Tom McDonald, I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're staying hydrated. And not so much for Tom McDonald, but for the rest of you, I'll see you next time. <laughs>